Hello and welcome to another edition of the Get Growing Weekly Work Session with Get Oiling. I'm Coach Ashley, joined today by Julie and Colin. Hey guys. Hello. How's it going, everyone? So thrilled to have you here today where we're going to be talking specifically about lead magnets and not just what they are, but how you can come up with one that is really effective for your business and the goals that you have for your business. If you don't know what a lead magnet is yet, don't worry, we're going to get into that. If you have no idea why somebody who is a young living brand partner might want one, we're definitely getting into that. Uh, so definitely turn off your uh, distractions. Let's plug in here. We've got a lot to learn today. There's a lot that we're going to be showing and telling, a lot of things we can take notes on. And there's a lot of great opportunity here for growth if this is a path that you're already on. Uh, so whether you're just getting started, you're learning something brand new today, or you're wanting to dial in what it is that you've been working on, you're in the right place. Get Oiling is the number one platform for you to use if you are a Young Living Brand Partner. We have everything that you need, whether you're just getting started with sharing and want to stay more organized, or you're leveling up, offering more than just oils, uh, such as you know AFT or coaching or something to that effect. And of course, if you're leading large teams, everything that you need in between, uh, we have everything all in one place with the training that you need to help you get it done. So uh, head over to the chat, let us know where you're coming in from and, uh, and let me know as well if you have a lead magnet uh, or if this is a process that you are just getting started with. Go ahead and head into the chat. By the way, this is a call that we, we offer live every Thursday at noon US Eastern time. I will say at the top of this call, for those of you who are here live, next Thursday is uh, the 4th of July here in the US. So we will not be live, but there will be a pre-recorded call for you. Uh, so, um, and then of course we do have convention coming up soon. A lot of exciting things in the pipeline here. So really looking forward to hearing from you guys. And of course, uh, Julie and I are hopefully going to see you guys a couple of days before convention at Aroma Sharing. Uh, do keep your eye out on uh, some emails that should be coming out to you soon about that as well. All right, so we're gonna pop out a video and get into today's slide content. Again, we do have quite a lot to share with you. Uh, so let's uh, let's get this show on the road. I should probably also mention that my name here is not Greg. <laughs> Greg is with family today. Let me change my name just to, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's get into this, you guys. Again, really excited to talk with you guys about this topic. I think this is one that is really important to know and understand as a brand partner, and really importantly, as a brand partner who is interested in not having to worry about where your next lead is coming from. The next conversation you can have that leads to you talking about and sharing Young Living with someone. At a point after you've talked to your best friend and your mom and your neighbor and all of the people that you could see yourself sharing with, you do tend to get to a point where you go, okay, well, what's next? How do I do this next? And how do I avoid the discomfort that is trying to come up with an idea in my head of how I could share Young Living with somebody if they haven't expressed interest to me yet, right? We're gonna move past all of that and get to a place where you are able to have conversations with people that already know that they wanna hear from you, that are already excited to hear what you have to say because they see you as someone who can help them. And when you're in that position, sharing Young Living is easy, it's natural. You don't need to know what to say because it comes to you. You can share your own story, testimony, share product and get the show on the road. All right, so let's talk about creating a lead magnet that works to grow your business. This is gonna help you get more leads and customers. So today we're gonna talk about what an effective lead magnet is, how to determine what it is for, for your business, for your brand, right? So what you will offer. And then ultimately we'll create a lead magnet using Canva and the built-in AI tools and get oiling. And I'll show you how you will plug in and use this lead magnet in get oiling to help you get leads. So if you have questions, doesn't matter what the question is, if it has to do with today's topic or it's something entirely different, please do take advantage of the Q&A here live on this call. Colin and Julie are experts in the system and how we use it, and they uh, can answer questions that you have. And of course, if it's something that we need to discuss here live on the call, we could certainly do that as well. If you are watching this as a replay, 
come join us. We are live every week. You can go to getoiling.com slash weekly work session and hop on to one of these live calls. And if you'd like to work together on a call like this one, you can request that by going to getoiling.com slash website review. It's not just for a review of your website. That's just kind of what made this live review popular. It's something for anyone who is a Get Oiling community member who would like just a little bit more hands-on help. If you would like for someone to take the work off of your hands, you can go to getoiling.com slash concierge to learn more about our qualified team and the projects they can help you complete. Now, let's get into the chat here. Do you have a funnel? If you're here today, do you have a funnel? Or do you know what a funnel is? <laughs> Let me know in the chat. So for those of us who don't know, Basically what a funnel is, is a way to just like the physical funnel that you use to uh, change oil in your car or to, you know, pour liquid from a larger container to a smaller one. We are taking uh, the process of moving people, in this case leads for your business, from a larger container to a smaller one, right? So if we think the largest possible container is the world, right? A smaller container would be the world you have access to. Maybe that's your network. And then the smaller container down from there is going to be the people who are within your network that maybe you have influence with or who you have had conversations with who would be interested in hearing you out where it comes to sharing young living, right? So funnels aren't just a tech thing. They're also just a phenomenon, like a pipeline in your business, right? And so what we're aiming to do with a funnel in the tech sense is to take people who you're probably already connected to and provide you a way of knowing who among those people are currently interested in hearing what you have to say about a topic that matters to them, something that's going to be helpful to them. And of course, that thing is going to relate to how you share oils. Is that making sense? You will see kind of what the whole thing looks like here in just a bit, but in, in, a, in a sense, this is really just something that you're putting out there to the world to build trust and credibility, to show people that you know something, not just that you sell something and that you're here to help first right? That's what funnels do. And, uh, and, and so what they uh, give you the opportunity to do is to show up, not just as a salesperson, right? As someone who makes money by referring people to buy product, but as someone who provides a real service to others, to community, right? To people like you or to people like the folks that you want to help, we're giving them something first, we're offering something. So instead of saying, hi, I have oils, would you like to buy them? You can say, I help moms reduce stress. Do you wanna learn the three things I do every day that eliminated my stress in my busy life with my five kids and, and crazy schedule, right? We're putting something up front first that's going to be of greater interest and importance to the person that you wanna share with than simply saying, I have oils. You want to smell them, right? So let's talk about what it means to create an effective lead magnet. That lead magnet is the piece of your funnel that you are putting out there first. It's the offer that you're making that is free. It's generous and it's relevant to the person that you would like to have an oily conversation with, all right? So an effective lead magnet, <coughs> excuse me, is one that attracts leads. So that's going to, for instance, again, if you're wanting to get oils into the hands of moms of young kids, because that's where your heart is, and that's where you want your focus to be. That's maybe your your lived experience. And so you want to, um, to use that to connect with more people like you. Putting out something into the world that helps someone to achieve a result that you've gotten, that is something that's going to attract people like you, right? So we want to be able to attract uh, targeted leads, right? And then of course, what we're doing is we are offering this lead magnet in exchange for their contact, their contact information, right? So this is where they're going to go to your website and to get your um, video where you show your five-step morning routine, they have to put in their name and email address, right? So that lead magnet is attracting and then ultimately allowing the funnel to collect those targeted leads into your system. It should also really importantly illustrate your knowledge and expertise in context with their problems or goals. Context is the most important piece of the puzzle here. 
Because while you definitely want the world to know about Thieves Household Cleaner and all of the things that it does, that mom that you want to show Thieves Household Cleaner to does not care about Thieves Household Cleaner yet. They don't care about all of the different 27 ways you use Thieves Household Cleaner yet. What they do care about is the fact that they want to have cleaner products in their home and they're spending in such a way that it's stretching their budget and they don't trust the companies that they're buying from. And they would like a way to simplify. Maybe she's got 13 cleaners underneath her sink and she's frustrated with having to keep everything there because it's cluttered. Maybe she lives in a small apartment, whatever that looks like, right? Going and saying, hey moms, if you're tired of dealing with companies you can't trust, and you'd like to, to find a way to take to tackle all of your cleaning tasks in one swoop with one bottle, I'm gonna show you what I do, right? That's a decent lukewarm lead magnet idea, right? We're not saying put your name and email in here to learn all about thieves, because again, put the, putting your name and email in there for them, they are automatically know they're about to get sold thieves. And nobody likes to sign up to be sold on something, right? If you knew that you were giving someone your information so that they could bombard you with sales messages, would you give them your information? Of course not. So we have to come up with something that is contextual to a problem they know they have, right? This is something that they know they need help with. And it's not always necessary, necessarily a negative context like a problem. It could also be a goal. Right. So if we were to flip this in a different direction, maybe you started using Ningxia Red and you followed the 14 day challenge um, and maybe you lost 20 pounds. You can say, busy moms, look, I know that you get all kinds of crazy messages all the time. Here's how I'm just like you. I lost 20 pounds in uh, in 90 days. And I'm going to show you all of the steps that I followed. Put your name and email in here. That busy mom who likes what you have to say already, who trusts you, is way more likely to put her information in there in that instance than if you were to say, let me tell you about my superfood drink, because she knows you're going to try to sell her the superfood drink. But if we go to her in context and say, here's how I got this benefit, would you like to learn how? She is now giving us the, red, the, the green light to learn about Ningxia Red in context with her goals or problems, right? And then finally, the most important thing, and this is going to be uh, really critical for those of us who already have a lead magnet to consider, your lead mag magnet needs to not just be a demonstration of the stuff you know. It needs to provide a way for someone to take next steps with you, okay? So at the end of the day, what I'm getting at here is that your offer, your lead magnet really matters. If we don't pick this the right way, we build out an entire funnel that, you know, sure does have all of its technical pieces in place, but doesn't necessarily do the work that you really want it to do for you. So let's talk about how we choose the right offer. First, we need to get clear on what our conversion goal is. Now to just make that, um, to simplify that, let's get that into super duper layman's terms. What we want to know is what we want this to do for us. If I'm gonna create a funnel and give away some kind of a PDF or an ebook or a video or something like that so that I can get a lead for Young Living, what step do I want them to take? For the majority of us, that step is going to be a conversation with you. For 99.99% .99 of us who are Young Living brand partners, if you have, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have a lead magnet, you have a thing that you're offering out there in the world, what you want someone to do if they like that thing is to talk with you, right? You, you want to get them into the DMs. You want to get them onto a call. You want to sit down with them in person, whatever that looks like. It's a one-on-one -on -one conversation, right? So our goal conversion, meaning someone is going from interested to qualified to share young living with. That's a conversation. Our conversion here is a conversation. Now, if you are, and this is really more for the folks who should be following our Attract Well channel, if you're selling courses and programs, 
In this case, you could also start sending them to a sales page to buy something. I'm not going to get really into this particular uh, instance here on this call. If you guys want to join us on the Attract While Office Hours call, uh, we can pop a link uh, to our Office Hours call in the chat. Um, that's going to be something we talk about in our 2 p.m. call. Anyway, so basically what we want to do here to choose our right offer is to pick a problem or goal that our ideal lead knows that they have. So like the example I gave before, where we know that we want to talk about Ningxia, but we know that they don't care about Ningxia yet. What do they care about? She cares about losing 20 pounds and doing it in a way that is fun and, uh, and where she doesn't feel deprived, right? So that's how we attack it. I'm going to show you how to use 20, excuse me, how to lose 20 pounds without feeling deprived in a way that is doable on a busy schedule. That is a promise, if that's something that you can deliver, that is very compelling. And then if it happens that Ningxia and Sleek and seven other products come up as a result of them saying, please tell me how, they've said, yes, you have permission to share now, right? So pick a problem or goal that they, they know they have, right? So what we don't wanna do here is create a lead magnet that is talking about 37 ways to use essential oils, because there's a really solid chance that the person that you are trying to connect with, they don't recognize a problem that they have as needing to know how to use essential oils 27 ways. What's a real problem that they have that you know you can help them solve? That's going to be the compelling way to get these conversations started, right? And you're going to know that if somebody puts in their information on your website, asking for that thing that you're offering, that is someone that you can talk to about Young Living, right? It's got to be a problem they know they have. And then you got to figure out what part of that problem you're going to help them solve, right? So it may be that you're going to help them to lose that 20 pounds by outlining what you did to lose 20 pounds, right? You're going to decide what part of that problem you're going to help them solve. It could be if, they're, if they have a very, very big problem, you're not going to try to solve uh, you know, an entire diagnosis, right? In a lead magnet, uh, that that's obviously going to be a process where we need to get someone committed uh, to, to their own journey in order to do. So you might decide, for instance, um, and obviously you want to be compliant in the promises that you're making and the way that you're putting yourself out there publicly, certainly consult the materials that are available from Young Living on what that compliance looks like, where you are talking about Young Living. Uh, but, you know, let's just say, for instance, uh, we're talking to women in their uh, maybe 30s, 40s, uh, 50s. They're starting to experience uh, metabolic changes that are related to disruption in hormones and things like that. A lot of us are familiar with this. A lot of, this, of, of us have gone through this, right? We can't solve all of that in a lead magnet, but what we can solve is the problem of not having energy in the morning, Right. And we could probably come up with 17 different products that we could discuss with somebody. But what we're going to do is if you are someone who used to feel fatigued in the morning and you know how you have energy now, you have a simple way that they can um, embark on that journey. It's not necessarily just product based. Maybe you're telling them just turn off their devices an hour before bedtime, turn on a diffuser. And, uh, you know, if they've gotten their thyroid levels checked, maybe they're taking thyroid before they go to bed right? Whatever that looks like, you're, you're going to pick a part of that problem. So if it is a huge problem, chunk it down into something that's doable and determine how you're going to solve it. And always make sure that you are being clear on the outcome, i.e. the problem they know they have, the goal they know they want to solve, and of course, the steps that follow. All right, so let's go over to Canva and get oiling and talk about how we can create a lead magnet using the built-in AI and get oiling and Canva, which most of us have. And if you don't highly, highly recommend that you get it. All right. So um, actually first, I think I've got some steps that I want to outline here first before I get into this too far. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use AI to come up with ideas or even to create the content, uh, write it out, all of the content that we know we want to include in our lead magnet. 
we're going to aim for a thousand words or more. This really does need to be high value and substantive. The goal here is not to engage in something in a shallow way. We want to show that we have a depth of passion, knowledge, right? Information that's relevant to our person, because our goal for all of this is for them to hit reply to those emails going to them or texts or what have you and say, Hey, can you help me? Here's my problem. We want them to respond like that so that you can say, Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. When would you like to talk? And then that person is absolutely ready to take your recommendations, right? So make sure that this is meaty, whatever it is that you're creating. Now, with your, if you're using AI, whether you're using the built-in right with AI here or you're using ChatGPT or something like that, make sure that you are super clear on the tone that you want, the audience that you're speaking to, and your unique approach, because this is about your expertise. Don't just get lazy with AI on this. This really does need to be something that comes from you. So if we're talking about uh, how you overcame fatigue uh, on, on a daily basis. Uh, and here are the three things that I did. You're going to want to tell AI those three things that you did, but you want it to write for you, right? So don't let it come up with three things to do if you have fatigue. This needs to be something that you can speak to from your experience. That's what gives you the credibility to connect with here. And then finally, we want to make sure that in the verbiage that we're using, in the copy for this lead magnet, we want to incorporate a transition where we're talking about the problem, we're talking about solving the problem, but then we want to incorporate a transition in what we're talking about in this conversation we're having in the lead magnet that positions your conversion goal. In this case, again, a conversation with you as the next best step for the person who's reading. So this means that I'm talking about here's the step one, here's the step two, here's the step three. And then maybe you're going to say, and you know, by the way, I understand that this might seem simplistic, but it actually can be a little challenging sticking to a new, um, to a new schedule, right? Or, or trying to build or develop a new habit. I have more tools and resources available to help you customize your journey, and I'm available for a free one-on-one -on -one consult. Be sure to click the link below to schedule a time with me. That's what a transition might look like, right? Where you're talking about the problem, but then you're acknowledging that doing this entirely on their own might not be the best move, but you're here for them and that they should talk with you, right? That's how we transition. All right, now let's go over and create a lead magnet. Now, I would love uh, to chat with you guys about this. Um, can anyone tell me maybe a problem that you know that your ideal person has? If they were all in a room, all of the people that you would love to share Young Living with, and you said, who has this problem? And they put, they popped their hands up and said, that's me. You would know, you know what? I know exactly how to get this person started with Young Living and I can help them right now. And I'm so confident in that. What would that problem be? And who are the people? What does that look like for you? This is probably going to pertain to a result that you have personally achieved in using Young Living, right? Energy, women over 50, fabulous. Sensitive teeth or tooth pain, ooh. Oh, that's a great one too. Oils are so good for, for oil, oral care. Um, all right, Sherry, women over 50, needing energy. Sherry, tell me in the chat, what are you know the, the three things that you're doing, they don't all have to be Young Living products or product-based. What are three things, if, if, if you had all of those women raise their hand and said, I'm struggling with energy, I'm over 50, Sherry, please help me. If you were to give them maybe three steps that they could take on their own without you, doable things, that if they started doing this tomorrow, they would start to feel a result. What would those three things be? Oh, I like that, Ilka, very specifically for women entrepreneurs. Awesome, dealing with stress and overwhelm. So same question for you. What are the steps you would recommend? And, and remember that most people who are going to be looking for help from you, they are at step one, two, three, four of their journey, and you are at 307, okay? So we really don't need to make this um, collegiate, right? We don't need to make this advanced. We really do need to help people with the baby steps. Because if they knew what you knew, they'd be young living customers already, right? All right, uh, so, all right, Sherry. Ningxia, good sleep, uh, so oils for that. 
tips uh, on that, like no blue screens and movement. Okay, fantastic. All right, Sherry, we're going to roll with this. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, so we're going to go to write with AI and get oiling. And I'm going to prompt AI. I'm going to say, I am creating a PDF lead magnet for women in their 50s who struggle with uh, lack of energy and fatigue. Create a, um, let's see, create a lead magnet that shares um, three ways to increase energy and keep it within seven days. Let's see, we're going to uh, include all right, we said Ningxia good sleep, movement. I'm gonna say four ways. All right, um, include uh, movement, um, improving sleep with essential oils, taking Ningxia red daily and turning off blue screens before bed. Okay, so these are, this is where we are keeping our own expertise in here, right? We're not having AI make this up for us, but we are having it help us out. All right, so uh, we're gonna say, um, <clears throat> Sherry, how would you characterize your tone if you were to write something? Um, if you're, you know, the spunky, oh, I love it, all right. Use a fun, spunky tone. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, we'll say use a fun, spunk spunky tone. Did I hit all of my points here? Let me go back and look at them real quick. All right, thousand words, that's the other one. All right. The article should be at least 1,000 words. Uh, and I'll say, and up to, 3,000 words. Okay. Um, can I add easy to steps? Yes, four easy steps. There we go. Four easy ways to, four easy steps to increase energy and keep it. Um, perfect. All right. So let's see what it comes up with. And we can always rewrite our prompt here. This is called a prompt, what we just did uh, for AI. You want to make sure that you are including all of the parameters that you want. So it comes up with something that is as close to what you want to use as possible. So it's going to come up with this. And once we have it, uh, I'm loving this. This, this is already good. Oh, you know what we didn't do? You know, we didn't incorporate a transition. Okay. So I'm going to say, um, the goal of this lead magnet is to, uh, let's see, is, is to help my ideal client um, as well as to establish trust and authority with them. And most importantly, to encourage them to reach out to me directly to help them personalize their routine and find greater success on their journey. A call with me is free and should be the primary call to action for this lead magnet. That's, that's important. You see what we did here? So sometimes we need to kind of massage what we're creating here in terms of our prompt. And then we can come up with something that'll work really well. It did look like, we're, like they got a nice little, you know, spunky tone. They were using fun, um, using fun little, um, what do you call them? Emojis, right? Um, all right, here we go. Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to copy this to clipboard. And what I'm gonna do next is actually go to Canva. Now, I'm also just 
for, for my purposes here, because I'm using a rather large amount of text, right? So that was somewhere between a thousand and 3000 words. I'm going to actually paste that into a word processor document so that I can be pasting parts of that at a time as I need them into my Canva file. All right. So I'm going to create, I'm actually kind of curious if they have like a lead magnet template in Canva that maybe I can use. And I bet they do. Oh yeah. Beautiful. So many, so, so many. All right. So let me see, I'm going to go ahead real quickly and paste on the screen that you guys can't see everything that I got from uh, right with AI. All right, so this is boost your energy in just seven days, four simple steps for women in their fabulous 50s. That's got a little spunk to it, right? So here we go. We're going to create this. I've copied that text and let's go over and find got this cute little beige here. That's a little bit bigger than I need. We can go in and, and delete some of these as well but definitely take advantage of these awesome templates that Canva has. You do not need to come up with something like this from scratch, right? So I'm gonna go here and this is the title. I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to paste it and we can see that that's huge. So we're going to, we're gonna change this around just a little bit. So maybe what I'm gonna do is move this one up to the top. So where this says a complete guide for coaches, I'm gonna change this. And maybe I'm also gonna make it a little bit bigger, right? So you can just play around with um, how you want this to look. You can obviously change the image out. We can delete this one and drag a new one in. Um, Right, so we're basically just gonna be copying and pasting from our document. So let me copy the first uh, paragraph. Again, I'm not gonna be doing this in complete, right? I, we don't have tons of time here. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, we don't need a table of contents here. Here's our welcome. Um, I'm going to, Let me see. I'm going to do one paragraph at a time. This is the easiest way to work here. So here we go. I'm going to paste this here. And here I'm going to introduce myself, right? Um, let me delete this one because we don't need it. And I'm going to paste into here. Right, and you can see that there's you know plenty of opportunity here, maybe in that separate document where you are um, where you are are pasting from. Maybe you make some edits here because, as you can see here, it's I am your name, right? And then we can have that. Let's see, ready? Let's get started. And I'm actually going to keep that right here and paste it in there. And of course, you want to put your name in here. All right, I. Let's see, step one, get moving. <laughs> yep, this is sassy. Here we go. <clears throat> Cute, right? So this we could actually, you know, put in a, um, there could be an image here of, um, you know, of people dancing, just so, so much fun uh, that you could have here with this. So let me actually go over to elements and maybe we'll find, here we go, dancing people. We'll find photos and, oh, perfect. Voila, drag that right in here. Gorgeous, right? Uh, and so there's, um, you could put a little, put a little bit of something in here. Um, let me see, how could we, can we fit it all in one page here? So we've got the why it works and then we've got the how to do it. So I'm gonna copy this again and we could paste in here. So here's exercise. And we're just gonna repeat this for each one, right? So uh, the next one is how to do it, right? Then there's 
lunchtime walks, dance party, pro tip, right? So we could use the um, use what's here, uh, or we could create an entirely new page. So you see where I'm going with this. I have, and let me actually just show you guys my whole screen here so you can see what I'm doing. Basically, what I've got is I've got this is the document that I have pasted all of that AI generated content from. And what you want to do in Canva is just one paragraph at a time using the template, like the pre-designed template, plug in a paragraph, right? Plug in a headline and get that into your lead magnet. And you can complete that throughout. What I actually really like to do when I'm creating these is to, um, especially in this case where we've got like a, I think this is a four step uh, lead magnet. I'm just going to basically use the same design. Once I have this exactly as I like it, I'm going to duplicate this for the second step, right? So I'm going to go and, and just make a copy of this page when it's time for me to get to step two, right? And don't forget, if you have branding established, so you've got colors, you've got fonts, etc. make sure that you do make adjustments to this document so that it is in keeping with the brand uh, identity that you have put out there into the world. All right. Uh, so you're just basically going to follow those steps that I just shared with you, right? We're going to create the best possible prompt, which I think is probably the most important thing for you to learn here today with using AI is to make sure that you give it the complete instructions, take this and paste it over into uh, a word processor, make sure that it sounds like you, make sure it's accurate. And of course, make sure that it includes your name, the correct call to action, et cetera. Now, the final thing that I would encourage you to do is where you have a call to action. So th this again, remember, the important thing that we want people to do when they engage with our lead magnet is not necessarily to just go buy the product that we're talking about. We know that we could surely get one person to buy one time using a tool like this. But our goal as brand partners is to get people converted onto a lifestyle where young living is something they need in their life every day. And the way that we do that is with having conversations, right? Developing relationships. So our call to action needs to be, get on a call with me. And so you absolutely can insert hyperlinks here, right? And, uh, and the shortcut is to go, um, actually you can click an image uh, and you can put in link right here. And you can actually paste in the link to, in this case, maybe you use a call booking software like Calendly, or this could be a, um, a mail to, uh, and then um, there you go. This would be a link, right? So this, if you put mail to colon, no spaces, and then your email address, this is going to make this clickable. It's going to open up whatever their email software is and they can then respond, like they can shoot you an email. You could do that as well. You could also go to uh, your website.com um, <clears throat> and then you could put in, so we'll just say, uh, let's see, what is that? Getoiling.com slash Jane L. And then I'm gonna put in hashtag contact and that'll actually take them straight to your contact form on your website. If you don't have something like that set up already, my recommendation would be to take them to a page where they actually put in their information uh, to, uh, to, to get on your calendar, if that's something that you have access to. Another great option is to, again, just use the campaign that you have for your funnel and have, again, that just regular encouragement for them to hit reply and start chatting with you, right? Okay, so now let's get back over here to, um, these real quick. And let's talk about how we use this in Get Oiling. So once you have created your lead magnet, you're going to export that file in Canva as a PDF, right? That's a portable document file. Um, that is going to be the same format that you would see if somebody gives you a guide, if, if you get an ebook, things like that. That's a PDF. Uh, could you create a video? You absolutely could. It's a little bit more complex. We do have training on that specifically. Feel free to look that up uh, on our channel. But let's talk about how we put this into Get Oiling. So we're going to upload that PDF file to our files manager in Get Oiling. 
And then we're going to link to this lead magnet in day zero of our funnels campaign. So that's the, the message series that goes out after somebody puts in their name and email address on your website. And then you can, of course, also link directly to that PDF from the file manager. At, and another option, I highly recommend this as an effective step, uh, but it's not something that you have to do. Have it maybe be a goal for you if you don't have one yet, uh, is to actually create a, its own page, right? So if you had a page on your website that had a button where they could download this PDF, but maybe you're also talking about the value of getting on a call with you and what you are promising uh, for their time if they were to you know, set up an appointment with you that would be a really effective way to share this PDF because they're getting the thing that they asked for, but then you're also able to really center that call to action, that next step, which is really what you want, that call to action being to hop on a call with you. So let's go take a look at what that looks like in Get Oiling. And then of course, get into your questions, anything that you guys want to see demoed, uh, go over something again, et cetera, certainly let me know. So let me just go back over here and we'll pretend like we have this fully uh, completed. I'm going to go over here to download. I'm going to change the file type to PDF standard. I'm going to click download. And we're going to give that a moment to download. Perfect. Now I'm going to come over here to the file section. It's under our content library. So here's our files manager and get oiling. We're gonna select our drop files. This one is going to be right here in my downloads. There it is. And then again, we have the ability to take this PDF, which is now here. I can copy the link by actually clicking this link right here. I can go pop that into the day zero message of my campaign. So maybe we've got, let's see. So maybe this is the 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 first message here. So I want to to tell them to uh, here's your here's your download, and then I've got the link here, but that's not cute, right? So let's go right over here and change the style, and we'll make that a button, and let's also change the text just to click here. And so we can link it right here in our campaign message. The other thing that we could again do as well, and this is a little bit more advanced, but I do highly recommend this if you have um, the pages available in your account, uh, is to actually create some kind of a page here where we are offering something. So we actually have several confirmation or thank you pages that I think are a really great, uh, great step. Uh, here where you can actually use this, change the words around a bit. Uh, and we could we could link to our, our PDF here. We could pop a video in here telling them that they ought to hop on a call with us, maybe add a button below, uh, or maybe even embed our booking information on a page like this. And then in, if you were to use a page like this, you could share a link to this page in your campaign as opposed to sending them directly to the file. All right, so that was a lot, especially if you are, are newer to any of this on the tech side. I think that the most important thing that I hope you walk away from here with today um, is the, the understanding that if you are going to embark on creating a funnel, if you are going to put your expertise out there upfront in exchange for someone's contact information, if you want it to be successful, you really have to center their wants and needs in your language and in the thing that you're offering. It has to be relevant to a problem that they know that they have so that you can help them solve that problem. Because if you can help them solve a problem they know they have, they trust you. They will take your recommendations. They will open your emails. They will be available uh, to, uh, you know, to hear about what's coming next for you, to show up to your events, et cetera, right? So no matter what your expertise is, it's critical that you find a way to adjust the way that you're communicating and things that you're delivering so that they hear it, right? They understand it. All right, let's see. Ilka, is there a way I can use Canva for free without trial? Um, so they do have a free plan. Um, there's definitely a free level and you can download PDFs from that. 
Uh, but you know, here, let me actually show you if you have, um, I'm on a Mac. So this is pages on a Mac. Uh, you could do the exact same thing with Microsoft Word if you have that. You can absolutely format a document like this one and, uh, and make this your lead magnet. Save this as a PDF, right? It does not have to be the super designy stuff that you get on Canva. So if Canva is outside of your budget, don't worry about it. Just use whatever your word processor is to make this look really nice. And really importantly, uh, to make this um, very readable, right? So th there's a lot of text in here. So I would definitely make sure that for instance here, we're maybe including a little bit more space uh, between the lines, right? Really drawing the eye down. And, and there are absolutely ways, oh, if you wanna use pictures, so you can absolutely incorporate pictures into this. There's actually a way, um, I'm not gonna do it here because it'll actually um, erase everything I have here, but there's a way for you to basically treat pages in Mac like Canva, um, similarly anyway. And that's by um, removing the document body that's checked right here. Uh, it, you will need to maybe just duplicate this uh, so that you don't lose any of the, um, the content that you have in here, uh, but then you can actually copy and paste sections of this and position them with images and things like that and layer them just like you do in Canva. So that's a little hack for you guys if you're if you're not wanting to use Canva. Now for images, Ilka, um, let's see, Unsplash is a fantastic place to get royalty-free images. If you Google royalty-free images, uh, then you'll be able to find that. And yes, I, this is on a Mac. Um, you would have to maybe look up uh, how to do the same thing on uh, Microsoft Word. I can tell you with absolute confidence that you can. I just can't tell you how to do it because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, you can find really great uh, pictures um, that are royalty free all over the web if you search for them. Unsplash is a favorite here. And even on the free plan with Canva, uh, they have a, a lot of good images as well. Just remember that you know when you are creating this again it's it's not about it's not about you at the end of the day it's it's about them uh, and so if what we're doing is we're showing up and um and and delivering something that really is important to them they're not going to care you know whether it's aesthetically you know perfect what they care about is does it make sense is this really for me does it work right so, um, so yeah, get out there and, and share your expertise in this way and people will love you for it. And they will absolutely um, want to have that next step conversation with you. Let me see. And I know there's been a lot of questions, but I think like Colin and Julie have just been all over it. <laughs> um, let me see. Did not know you could highlight a link and have all those options like changing a button. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if there's anything else that you guys um, would like to uh, to chat about, if you want to come out and discuss anything uh, live here, feel free. Maybe pop up your hand. Let me know, and uh, and I'd be happy to chat through it with you. Hey, Sheila, how can we help? Hi, I was wondering if you could just um, check on my website. I created a sales page for my for a book. And I was wondering if you could just look at it and see what you think of it. Yeah, absolutely. SheilaMeyer.com. I think I found you. There we go. And it's Lime Warrior is the sales page. Is it this one? Um, yes. Okay. I love how that animated. This looks like a Tiffany design and I love it. <laughs> or a Tiffany template maybe. Um, let's see. You've done a really nice job here on, uh, on desktop in particular. Um, taking this powerful statement and making it really legible, really bold and upfront. Um, I, I wanna say there, there's a statistic from Nielsen, uh, which is you know sort of the, 
the scholarly resource for people who want to know about what happens when people visit website pages. Uh, and they used to be like the TV experts and maybe they still are uh, about what people are watching. I, I wanna say it's fewer than 71% of people make it past this section of a page. It's so critical that what's here is, is, is it's shouting exactly what this is all about. And you're doing that here. So that's really good. You're, you're gonna keep people on this page if, this, if that's who they are. Great, right, thank you. This is a tiny nitpick. I would encourage you to maybe for some of these, not necessarily all, consider maybe breaking them into additional sections on the page, because while you do have these optimally formatted inside of this box, uh, it does kind of give a little bit of, um, it gives a little bit of a feeling that like, wow, I, I have a lot to read here. So if we break it up, it kind Too of, it tricks, it tricks the brain and, and wants the brain to keep scrolling when you have a lot of information like this. Okay. And yeah, these you it would be a lot more impactful just to place them in something that's just a little bit visually different from from what you have up top here. Um, okay. It's still very well done for like what you've done here is 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 still really good. This is also good. Ooh, awesome. This is very good. This is like you've you've got it loud right here, and this is almost like you're you're speaking with them. This is a really good section right here, and I assume this is going to purchase your book, right? It's going off to a page to purchase your book. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. it. Yeah, no, that's that's fantastic. Um, yeah, the the only thing that I would really consider changing here is is giving these sections a little bit more uh, space in, in their, their own sort of limelight because they're like right here, they're kind of overshadowed by what's here. And I think the brain wants to assume that all of this just goes together. So if somebody does wanna just scroll to the next part, they're, they're, they're gonna miss all the good stuff that's here. So visually okay. breaking these apart, I think would be a good idea. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. And again, like can't stress enough, that's a that's like an optimizing nitpick. It's a beautiful page. You've done a phenomenal job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And congrats on your book. All right. Anyone else want to come out? We still have a little bit of time. Um, I have a request for you guys. Um, if anyone here uses the boards app, will you get in touch with me? I would love to put together a training on using um, your Git oiling system alongside uh, what you're using in boards. Uh, so if you're using that, uh, maybe you, you've purchased access to or your team has access to, um, you know, sort of scripts and, and little things that you would uh, copy and paste from boards into say like Messenger, but you wanna use that in the two-way texting feature and Git oiling, um, I would love uh, to work with you guys on that. So definitely reach out to me, Ashley at getoiling.com and, uh, I would love to talk with you guys. And yeah, if you if you have any questions, if you want to talk through uh, a, a lead magnet or how you might be able to better position a lead magnet that you've created to be effective for you, uh, pop your hand up and let's talk through it. Uh, it is going to look slightly different for you based on what your goals are. Again, the majority of us here need to have our primary lead magnet be one whose uh, conversion goal is a conversation with you, right? So we're not just saying, here's seven ways you could wake up feeling uh, 20 years younger every day. That's, you know, that's great. It's a good thing to offer. That's a good start. And it's also fine if you're maybe linking off to products that are in that guide. But the most effective thing that we can do is to say, hey, here's 20 things. We all know that sustaining doing 20 new things is a hard thing to do. What if you had somebody help you? Did you know that you could get that for free? hop on a call with me. That's effective, right? Because then we can take that person who is interested and instead of just relying on how well they're paying attention and understanding what you put onto a page, we can get them into a conversation. We can actually develop a relationship and there from there, we can develop your next best uh, customer, right? Your next best person who is you know, making that order every month, right? 
So feel free, again, if, if you want to chat about it, I'm here. Definitely interested to hear as well what kind of lead magnets you guys are working on. And, um, and oh, by the way, oh, I think Julie, thank you for putting that prompt <laughs> into the chat there. Um, let me see. And if you want the, the text of what it came up with, um, feel free as well, uh, Sherry, to um, just shoot me an email and I can send you what I've got here. All right, if if we're good, if you guys don't have a last call for, for hands up if you wanna talk through any ideas, um, but we will, uh, again, next week, it will be a pre-recorded uh, call. Um, and uh, and we'll be live the week following. And then the week after that is convention and that's gonna be pre-recorded as well, just so you know. Uh, so, um, so yeah, we look forward to seeing you guys uh, in two weeks. And of course, definitely check out the pre-recorded training for next week. Uh, be in touch, let's work on this stuff together. If there's something that you're trying to figure out how to best use Get Oiling for, these calls, are for you. So be in touch with us. Shoot me a message. I'm Ashley at getoiling.com. We come up with these training topics to serve you and where you're at, where your team is at, how you're trying to work and grow. So let us know and we'll come up with something awesome to help you improve your experience and your results. We look forward to seeing you guys soon. I hope you have a great week. And if you're here in the US, hope you have a great Independence Day next week and uh, take care everybody.